I have two stepdaughters, and um, I've had many conversations with them about their careers and uh, what their plans are for the future. So I, I relate very much with what uh, parents go through when they have a young person and they're really concerned about their future, especially if they themselves are not artists and they're worried about what's going to happen if their student studies trumpet or music industry or whatever it happens to be. And I, I would go back to what I was saying previously, that first of all, the students are getting a great education. At a Jesuit institution, uh, unlike a school like Eastman, uh, undergraduates have to take a very rigorous general curriculum. That general curriculum includes languages, it includes the sciences, it includes the social sciences, it includes, of course, philosophy and religion. So they come out of their Jesuit education, just as St. Ignatius wanted them to, and that is to have a broad spectrum of knowledge and a critical understanding of how to approach knowledge. So even if a student here is majoring in piano, they are still going to get a very fine general liberal arts education. This is seen by some of my colleagues in the musical world as a disadvantage. They would say, well, that's all the time they could have spent practicing. And I'm like, you know, there'll be plenty of time to practice in the future, but this is a golden moment in their lives to show them something greater than that. So I would say to a parent, first of all, that if you have a student majoring in the arts, they aren't just studying the arts. They're studying this broad spectrum of, of knowledge. Uh, and I, I would probably say uh, that a student here majoring in music or visual arts or theater uh, would receive as good of a liberal arts education as they might receive in many other places even if they weren't studying the arts because there's so much of it. Secondly, um, the role of a parent sometimes is a hard one because we want to help our children and we often think we know better based on our experiences. Uh, but frequently that young person has a goal or a dream and it may not be the dream that we have for them. And sometimes it's our job to support that dream even when we're a little scared of it. It's a leap of faith. Um, when St. Ignatius founded the Jesuits, there was a small group of men, I think it's fair to say a ragtag group of men, who uh, didn't really have much of a plan and didn't really know what they were going to be doing, but they, they had a sense of a mission and there was something within them, kind of a longing for God, that was so powerful. And when you look at young people who have a real powerful longing for saxophone, trumpet, uh, guitar, um, painting, sculpture, you can see that there's this, this kind of in, inner passion. And for a parent, it can be scary, but one of the things you have to do is realize that if you ask your son or daughter to do something practical in your mind, many times you're also asking them to give up something that is so powerful that eventually will lead them through the hardships of life and, and give their life meaning and depth. So it may seem difficult at first when you have those conversations that your child wants to become an artist, but once you start to see, first of all, they're getting a great education, and secondly, how happy they are at, at realizing their dream, then you kind of let that go. Um, but I think as a parent, you're always going to be a little anxious about your child. I don't know if that ever, ever goes away. But I know my own father, my, my father was a naval officer, and I remember telling him that I was going to be a piano major. And it was a difficult conversation for him because he had another dream in mind for me. And, uh, but he was uh, uh, kind enough to uh, allow me to pursue it, although he did tell me I had to get an education certificate, uh, which I did. Uh, but after he came to my first uh, recital, my first full recital, junior recital, he was a fan and, and we, we kind of never looked back from there. Uh, but I, I just tell parents to try to understand that uh, your child is going to receive a great education no matter what they study here and they're going to learn life skills that they can apply to any career. Um, people nowadays in, in all the professions will tell you what they're looking for in, in employees is not so much the area that they majored in. What they're looking for are people who can write, who can express themselves, and who can think creatively and problem solve, and who are good workers. Music and the arts will train you in all of those things. 
So if a student gets a degree in piano here and decides, you know what, I think I really should have become a lawyer, they can go to law school and be very, very successful at it. Um, so even if you went out and talked to employers today, many times they will seek out music majors or arts majors for positions that are not at all related to that because they know those people will be problem solvers. Uh, and usually once I, I talk to parents in this way, they understand it and uh, it allows them to have a little bit of peace of mind uh, in, in terms of helping their son or daughter achieve their dreams.